How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be tattooing Danny. He is an amazing producer and also a musician that has worked with a lot of great artists. Acompañado de una cahuelada, mandando a la mala vibra la chingada. Yo no te hubiera conocido, pero el cálculo falló. We're gonna be doing a cover up on him. He has this guitar on his right forearm that gotta go ASAP. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Listo. Listo, wey. Vámonos. Perro. Ya se armó el asunto. Estoy preparado, balado, déjame volar. ¿Y cómo te gusta que te llamen? Dani. Dani. Sí, sí, pues sí me dicen todo. Dani. How long ago did you say you got this piece? Ya como cuatro años. Cuatro años. The good thing is that it's not scarred. Yeah. Just a little bit on the lines, but that's normal. I was showing the guys and they thought it was a skyscraper. Skyscraper? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, is that a skyscraper? I was like, no, it's a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> when you got it done, did you feel like, ah, oh, it's, not, it's not how I imagined it would look yes, like? Yes, yeah. I think, I think that was the whole problem with it. Que nunca, nunca me lo terminé, pues. Uh -huh. That's the one, this one. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this is the one. Alright, so this is the piece that we're gonna be covering up today. It is about four to five years old. Uh, there is a lot of hard lines right in the middle, so we definitely wanna, gotta watch out with the texture, gotta make sure that we add the right amount of texture to not make it look extremely dark across the whole entire thing. Then the reason why, the first time, so I placed it a little too far out onto the wrist. I didn't want that just because there is a really hard line here. So having that line across this area, it was gonna make it very difficult for me to cover it up just because that is a super hard line and it was gonna show right through the highlights and the texture. So I would rather have the actual shading across the whole entire mouth for me to be able to play around with the contrast and the background play with it as well and make it even darker than that. That way it gives me leverage to bring it back to life. As far as the red areas, we gotta make sure that we add a little bit heavier medium grays because red can be a, a very heavy color and it's gonna show through any light colors. So we gotta watch out for that too. It is a very challenging cover-up just because it is a whole bunch of lines down uh, and having uh, shapes like that definitely can make it complicated, but with the right concept, it's, it's everything, you know, the right concept is gonna help you out to get through it. And my first approach is gonna be testing out the, the, how dark it really is by making the background extremely dark with some grays. I wanna play around with this corner, you don't wanna make the whole entire solid black. So I'm gonna start with solid black here, fade it out to grays here, and I wanna see how, how powerful this black is first. You excited, you nervous? How do you feel? Somewhat. Somewhat. <laughs> Somewhat, I just want a gun, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> The guy? The people who see it and shit. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna trip out because it's so. It's dark. Yeah, it's dark. <laughs> it's dark. It's, it's extremely dark. Yeah. They're all of that. I mean, the lines too, they're like super dark, but. Yeah, it's a combination of everything that <laughs> it's like. Hey, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs>
So I just added this solid black in the background and I also did the line of the mouth just to come, uh, kind of give me an idea of how dark the, uh, the tattoo that, already, that he already has is. Um, it is definitely a dark piece, but now putting my black right next to it is letting me know that it is not as strong as I thought it was because now my, my black is overpowering the, the black that he has. So after you already like met with all these like artists and stuff, like who would you want to produce or make a, or collaborate with in the future? Who look at you like I would like Eminem with Eminem? Like my imagine we como se escucharía Eminem we rapeando en una guitarra. Oh, that be crazy. Yeah. O sea, en un, en un pinche tono acá, medio, medio regional, pero tumbagón acá. Sí. ¿Y a ti qué te motivó para empezar a hacer producción y todo eso? Y cantar más oh, que nada. Mi papá tocaba. De hecho, pues él toca todavía, pues él tiene su grupo. My older brother, too. And it was crazy because me as a kid, I, I knew that I was really good at doing music. ¿Y qué instrumentos tocas? Parte de la guitarra. Toco guitarra, bajo y acordeón. Oh. Yeah. El acordeón. Sí, ya, ah. ya, ya, Creo que eso ya viene más de parte ya del, del tono de la música, ¿no? Sí, Como que ya. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like Yeah, Oh, she's starting to Oh! So now that we got started with the whole face now, I already got the rhythm going. I already know the sequence that I'm going to be executing the rest of the face. So the sequence that I'm doing right now is basically doing my black first, then doing texture with my medium gray, and then doing my lightest gray at the end and contrasting it with a little bit of white highlights around in the gaps that I got left to make it pop because it is a super dark tattoo, so I gotta make sure I include those white highlights. I am not, and, and, I, and I wanna remind everybody that I do not use white to cover up black. What I use the white for is to enhance those gaps that I have around the open skin to make it stand out. Because if I was to put white on black, the black is gonna overpower it. So that's why you need that gray to cover up the black in order for the white to come out and make it look brighter. So right now I'm gonna start doing the nose area, the bridge of the nose, the cheek area here, and probably start contrasting the, the eyes because I, I wanna start getting the shape of the whole entire face. And, but yeah, it is, it is definitely getting covered up, nice and easy. Uh, it was definitely challenging at the beginning, getting, the, getting into the rhythm, but now that I got it, smooth.
this was a really interesting piece because I feel like I definitely pushed myself, even though it wasn't a huge cover up, it was a very challenging one just because of all the lines uh, going vertical and that makes it very difficult. Uh, for anyone that's, that's wanting, maybe you have a client that uh, wanted something similar, I would highly recommend for you guys to really have self-awareness for this kind of piece just because if you're not that experienced in cover-ups, you are definitely not going to be able to make it through because those lines are going to show through if you don't have the right concept, the right texture, the right tones. It has to be precise. Every single time you hit the skin, it has to be precise. Uh, and if you are more experienced in, in the cover-up field, I would say to really study the piece, really study it because it's going to help you a lot to make those spontaneous decisions as you're tattooing because it requires a lot of that. So yeah, definitely have self-awareness on this one. It was, have me sweating the whole day, have me sweating for reals. But um, I think uh, throughout the day, I noticed that he had a lot of open gaps and I didn't, I didn't just want to add fur, you know, across his whole entire forearm. So I told him, you know what, I'm gonna have you come back and I want to customize something that's gonna fit those gaps to make the whole sleeve come together. But because he has a whole bunch of tattoos all over the place and those gaps are making everything look very empty. And I just, you know, it was just not, I wasn't gonna feel right just me adding black in those gaps, you know? So I'm gonna have him come back, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for coming back. And if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.